What's up, Seekers? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Todd World. Uh, if you're new here, uh, please do me a favor. Hit that little subscribe button down below there. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, if you're not new, uh, hit that like or dislike button, as the case may be, just to let me know you came. Anyway, as many of you know, uh, I'm always exploring, and, and many of the things that call Todd World their home, uh, a lot of times I discover these things accidentally. Just give me a reason. In any event, there's so much out there in the world and so much that competes for our attention. And so when I stumble across something I actually like, um, it's very satisfying to, to bring it uh, into Todd world. And... I'm not afraid to tear it down and build it up again. <laughs> We, we all know the internet. It's like a giant rabbit hole and one that we can easily fall into. And I do it all the time on YouTube. And you know what I'm talking about. In fact, when I first started this channel, it was one of the things that I talk about is how many times we go down the rabbit hole and discover cool stuff. And I wanted to share it with you. And, you know, I, I'm hope, I was hoping you would share stuff with me. And so, you know, because, again, the internet, it beckons. And we must follow. We have to. And that's why today I'm going to tell you about One OK Rock. If your world has been overwhelmed and you just need to get away, you can rest in mind for a few minutes. Welcome to Todd World. Now, some of you may remember way back when I did my samurai video uh, several months ago. I, I'll link below. Uh, in any event, in the process of researching clips and images to put into that uh, effort, uh, I stumbled upon a, a lot of references to Rurouni Kenshin, uh, the movie. And I had sort of dismissed it because of the past mutilated Cartoon Network thing uh, known as Samurai X. But uh, reviews of this movie were pretty, pretty good. And so... I ordered a copy. I thought, you know, what the heck? And down the rival hole, I went. And as many of you know, I became a big Rurouni Kenshin fan uh, for that movie. I then picked up the original manga uh, and realized that I had gold uh, that uh, a bad children's cartoon almost uh, hid from me. In any event, in the process, I do more than just watch a movie. I love to look at the behind the scenes stuff and I, I love to watch, you know, and learn about the actors and what they went into to do that. Uh, and then even everything from the soundtrack on down. I, I, I love watching that stuff. And I listened to the soundtrack and in the process there was a song in the, in the credits that kind of became the theme uh, for uh, the movie. Uh, and it was like, okay, I need to, to look into this more. Well, getting a soundtrack from 2012 movie, especially from Japan, it's not easy. But I did a little research and then discovered the song called The Beginning, uh, which I'll link below, was on iTunes. And it's a great song. It fits the movie. Uh, but who did it? Well, it was a group called One OK Rock. And fortunately, again, that song is on one of the albums. And so I quickly iTuned it. Of course, that led to exploring more of their music, and I'm so glad I did. The more recent stuff is in English, as the group signed with Warner back in 2015, and it's become more international, and something the lead singer, uh, Takahara Moriyuchi, wanted to do. They, they've released albums uh, in both Japanese and English, and, and some of their videos do have some Japanese bits in them, uh, but for the most part, these are in English, so uh, for an English audience, it's easy to, to get into their music. Uh, and, well, one great song led me to explore more. Uh, their more recent uh, one, which also supports uh, the Kenshin movie franchise, uh, is Renegades. And again, it's a great video, it's a great song, uh, and I, I, again, the lyrics inspire, which is something I like to look for, uh, and then it's just great music to hum along with and to jam with. And so, uh, guys, if you like rock music uh, and pop music, this is a good one to check out. Now, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Todd's given another music recommendation. Hmm. Todd loves BTS, so how can we trust his recommendation? Well, I've had some of you say, I love you, man, 
but I don't get BTS. And that's, that's okay. All I can say is it's not easy being this light. But, but anyway, in any event, this is different. It's a different genre of music, and, and, and I really think you should check it out because this is a different kind of band. Uh, One OK Rock started out actually as a high school band in Japan uh, way back in 2005, uh, Every Boy's Dream. It was not until some shifts took place uh, in the membership, and, and by 2007, they finally released uh, their first single, uh, which did well. Uh, but they had some growing pains, and uh, it wasn't really until 2010 before they started really seriously charting uh, and doing tours uh, around Japan. And they got really strong and garnered more attention with their video, The Beginning, uh, which won MTV Awards, uh, and then, of course, was picked up to be uh, the single for uh, the Rooney Kenshin movie. In fact, uh, some of their music's been in included in various commercials over the last 10 years. Uh, the uh, Even the... the the DMC uh, Devil May Cry uh, video game reboot uh, actually has one of their songs in it. At one point, they're, as they're doing these international tours, working with Five Seconds of Summer, uh, now their style varies, all right? Uh, some of it's pretty hard and, and some of it pretty pop. Uh, again, it's it's a good mix rock band uh, that I think you'll like, uh, but it is. It's solid rock and roll. I hope to see them uh, if they do get a chance to get their uh, Eye of the Storm concert tour out, which was getting ready to happen and then uh, was postponed because of COVID. Uh, in fact, uh, their, uh, one of their, uh, the, kind of the leader of the band and their kind of main guitarist got COVID last year in July. Uh, but I haven't seen any updates and things, so I assume he got better and everything's fine. Now, the single from that album, The, the Eye of the Storm, it's a great album. Uh, I picked it up. And uh, there's a song on there, uh, Stand Out Fit In, which is a pretty strong song about the struggles we have, or especially young people have, trying to be yourself and then fit in. Uh, and what you might sacrifice in that process. Uh, and so uh, it, it's a pretty good one. And, and I, it really resonated to, with me too, especially with the, uh, uh, the rise in anti-Asian uh, crimes that are taking place in our, in our country, which disgusts me. Uh, and uh, so, I, again, it's a good song. It's a good video. Uh, the whole album is a good album. If you do drop into the mix, uh, I would start with their more recent stuff and, and then work backwards. Because the farther you go back, they do get a little harder uh, as they uh, get into their early stuff. And, and most of it's in Japanese because they, of course, originated in Japan. Uh, but they still brought, bring some hard stuff even today uh, in the midst of their pop stuff. I, I highly recommend it. In fact, uh, you can probably find a lot of their stuff on YouTube. Just go looking for it. Uh, their recent Eye of the Storm. Uh, then, of course, there was Ambitions was the one before that. That. Again, a great album, uh, and then uh, uh, before that, 35, which is, I think, the really start to begin to see more of their English stuff uh, really take off. Uh, and of course, again, had the beginning, uh, some great music, uh, and I've even discovered uh, they're in soundtracks of movies like, oh yeah, and then I watched the movie. And, and so, uh, again, down the rabbit hole. And so, um, listen, um, Seekers, let me know where your rabbit hole adventures lead you to. Um, please comment. Uh, again, uh, share your music loves and, and recommendations. Uh, you know, I have the advantage of being with a group of friends uh, who constantly love and share music ideas. We don't always agree. Uh, I've got some that, uh, that listen to some things that I don't always like. And then, of course, they sometimes show a a Neanderthal tendency when they mock my K-pop. So, I mean, but, you know, I still love them, you know. Even my son mocks me about that, but, oh, well, to each their own. And, you know, besides, I know he still loves me because uh, <laughs> he did for my birthday this last year, or for this year, uh, did manage to find me a, a copy of the Rurouni Kenshin soundtrack uh, movie. And um, I'm not going to ask where he got it, but uh, he did uh, bring me a uh, drive to uh, plug in and download, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, any event, uh, but he, again, they recommend stuff. I mean, my son turned me on to a, uh, a little group called Red Vox, which has got some good stuff that we could get into. Uh, and then, of course, you know, the Nerd Herd always gets me into stuff. Nathaniel Radcliffe uh, and the Night Sweats, they're great. Uh, and so, uh, so I can't hate them. Uh, even if they are less enlightened than myself.
anyway, so let me know, Seekers. Hey, listen, a uh, quick update on some things. Um, uh, please comment and let me know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, not sure what happened last week, but apparently you guys are tired of my what-the-heck stories. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, a couple of people like, oh, I really like these, I really like these, and then, you know, nobody watches them. So, uh, so I don't know what that message is, uh, and um, not sure what happened, uh, what you guys want to do or see. Um, so... Uh, again, if you want me to keep doing some of these things, let me know. Uh, if you want me to keep doing the channel, let me know. But, uh, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm yelling into the void. Uh, so maybe maybe I am. Maybe these are just really bad and, and some of you just aren't brave enough to tell me to stop. But in any event, uh, I hinted uh, uh, a few weeks ago at another contest in the postmodern video, but uh, apparently I was a little too postmodern in my uh, hint there. And so, uh, in any event, uh, I am thinking that if we can limp to 100 subscribers and I can get the views up, we'll do another Amazon giveaway again and, uh, you know, just see. Uh, that's another thank you for uh, for doing that. Uh, anyway, uh, let me know what you think, uh, what we're doing. I'm trying to mix things up, uh, keep it varied, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, just to try to be different and so but again let me know what you think uh i really value your comments uh they encourage me so in any event to my cubs wherever you are i love you and i miss you peace